This little SUV has a lot going for it. The Skoda Kamiq Signature packs a punch on quite a few levels. I've spent the last week getting acquainted with it, and while it's great for the suburbs, it's even better for a family weekend getaway. This comes in a few variants and competes with cars like the Volkswagen T-Cross and the Kia Seltos. For this week's family review, I took the Kamek to visit my brother's family a few hours up the coast. I'll take you through the best and worst family features of the car, but if you want to skip ahead, you can use the time codes or chapters on your screen. If you're looking for reviews of other versions of the Kamek, then head to the Cars Guide website, where you can also find more information on this one in my written review. If you're on YouTube, hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon to stay up to date with our latest videos. The signature variant costs just under $40,000 before on-road costs. If you're looking to spend less, there's also the Monte Carlo and Ambition variants. The Kamek Signature comes with tinted windows, 18-inch alloy wheels, a digital instrument display, and a 9.2-inch display screen, and a few thoughtful touches, such as a hidden umbrella and bag hook. More on that soon. It's a confident car, especially in this velvet red paint option. And the panoramic glass sunroof is also optional as well. The lines, are a little sensible, but the Kamek still has style and the high-end touches make all the difference. The car features a wide front grille and split headlamps, which gives the Kamek its own look. But the back has a clean modern look with a gray rear bumper to highlight the ground clearance. They've continued the premium feel with these leather appointed seats the digital instrument display and ambient lighting, which are these LED lights here under the dash. And there's a wireless charging pad for your phone here. If you're looking for a practical, small family SUV with quite a bit of space, then this car ticks quite a few boxes. Inside it feels roomy, even in the back, which isn't common for an SUV of this size. The design is quite clever. The clear roof gives the feeling of a lot of space. Even on a long drive, I had more than enough room as the driver and as the passenger with a small bag at my feet. I found the seats really comfortable. The driver's seat has electric controls, including lumbar support, but the passenger seat only has these levers here. I'm 5 foot 10 and you can see I still have quite a bit of space. Now my brother, he's 6 foot 5 and even he had a bit of headroom which is quite rare but the seat was maxed out in his position. You can either use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto for your smartphone mirroring. On the trip to the coast I used my Apple iPhone and we used my brother's Android Auto on the way back. I'd have to say the Android Auto integrated a little better than the iPhone, but there's a Bluetooth option as well. Another thoughtful feature are the ridges on the wireless charging pad. Unlike some others I've seen, it actually keeps your phone in place while you're driving. Remember, if you have a thick case like mine, you need to take it off for the phone to actually charge. There's also two USB-C chargers here. Storage is a little limited. There's a very small centre console, but there's a decent sized glove box. There are two drink holders here in the centre, but they are pretty small. You can't fit the large coffee I usually order in here. But all four doors have space for a small water bottle as well. For a small SUV, the practicality of the back seat is pretty good. I'm 5 foot 10 or 177 centimetres and behind my driving position I've still got quite a bit of room. You can fit two adults in the back seat comfortably or two car seats but it would be a very tight squeeze in between them. Because the cabin is relatively short a rear facing child seat would eat up a lot of the front seat room. The car has isofix points and three top tether child seat anchorages. As I said earlier, the back seats have seat warmers and directional air vents, 
And if you're open to buying the Skoda accessories, you can get a clothes hanger which mounts behind the headrests. You can even get a multimedia device holder so the kids can watch a movie on long trips. The boot space is 400 litres. It can fit a pram and a couple of bags of groceries. One feature I love are these bag hooks. They actually keep all of your belongings in place. The Skoda Kamek Signature has a turbo petrol engine. It's 1.5 litres and has a 7-speed dual-clutch auto. It's powerful enough, accelerates easily and is great on the highway. I drove it for a few hours up the coast and it handled the rainy conditions and potholes well. I was impressed with the drive. It's a front-wheel drive. It can be a little jolty in stop-start traffic, but when you have a clear run, it drives beautifully. The digital instrument cluster, which Skoda calls the virtual cockpit, comes with five display modes. If you're using the car's inbuilt navigation system, you might want to use one of the displays which features the map in full screen. Or if you're using maps on your phone, you can select this display, which shows you the petrol gauge and engine RPM on each side. The front and rear sensors and reversing camera make it easy to park, but it wasn't as easy as some of the small SUVs I've tried because the sensors are really quite sensitive. I've been driving the car for the past week around the suburbs and up to Newcastle in wet and windy conditions as well. My usage was 8.6 litres per 100 kilometres, but the official specs are 5.6 litres per 100 k's and that's on the combined cycle. The Skoda Kamek Signature comes with a whole kit of safety features. It has adaptive cruise control, so you automatically slow when you approach another vehicle. And you can set the distance when it slows. There's auto emergency braking that can detect cars and pedestrians. The car has lane keeping assist. It also has rear parking assist and adaptive lane assist, which is particularly helpful on the freeway. The Kamek's airbag coverage is pretty standard for its class, but it doesn't have a centre airbag or rear side airbags like some newer or more expensive models do. The Skoda Kamek lineup scored a maximum five star and cap rating in 2019. The car comes with a five-year warranty with unlimited kilometres. That's pretty standard for its class. The Signature needs a service every 12 months or 15,000 kilometres. And there's a capped price servicing plan so you can be sure of how much you pay each time you take it in for maintenance. The Skoda Kamek Signature is sleek, thoughtful and fun. It gives you options for your tech and it's easy to drive. It suits a small family because it's very practical for its size and there's enough room to keep you comfortable. You can check out my written review or Andrew Chesterton's long-term review for more information at the Cars Guide website. I'm giving this car eight out of 10 because it looks good, it stands out and it's a great drive. My niece gave the car eight and a half out of 10. The half a point is for the extra special color. Remember, if you're looking for something else, we've got hundreds of videos on our YouTube channel, so hit subscribe to stay in touch.